beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am reviewing two Tony Dixon Lodi whistles. The cheapest single one-piece polymer Lodi whistle and the aluminium tunable Lodi whistle as well. These two were actually sent to me from bigwhistle.co.uk where you can find a whole host of other Dixon whistles, other amazing whistle makers as well, all in one place. If you haven't checked that out, please do. I've linked it up here on the little eye and in the description down below as well. Now I have reviewed a third Tony Dixon Lodi whistle. You'll find that up here on the little eye and linked below this video in the description. I'll also put a link at the end of the video. Um, that's a sort of mid-range between the two. It's a tunable plastic whistle and you can also get a flute mouthpiece for it as well. So do check out that review if you'd like to compare all three. But the reason I'm comparing these two today is just to see how the single one piece holds up against the aluminium and whether it is that much better to go for a metal whistle over a plastic whistle. So let's get into some close-ups. Now you'll notice on the plastic whistle that it does look like a tunable whistle, but it is in fact a one piece. The mouthpiece is molded as part of the main body. Looks very neat and professional. We have an embossed logo right here and the finger holes as we move down the body of the whistle. Now this is a very lightweight whistle, definitely the lightest low whistle I own. So if you have trouble with holding on to whistles, uh, you find playing low whistles difficult, this may be a great low whistle for you. If I show you the aluminium whistle alongside, you'll notice that the mouthpiece is very similar at the top. In fact, the top of the whistles here are exactly the same. The mouthpiece does widen to accommodate the wider bore of the aluminium whistle. The embossed logo is still here at the top. And as you'll notice, the finger hole spacing on these is actually exactly the same. And it's a very easy to cover hole spacing, which is really impressive. A lot of Lodi whistles require a double or full piper's grip where you need to adjust the positioning of your fingers over the holes to be able to reach them. But these low whistles can actually be covered with your finger pads at a bit of a stretch. Certainly if you've found other Lodi whistles difficult, you may find these Tony Dixon low whistles a lot easier. The plus point about the aluminium whistle is of course that it is tunable and you can remove the mouthpiece here. You'll see you have some rings here around the whistle and you can adjust the position of that to fine tune your tin whistle notes. So that'll sharpen or flatten as you move this mouthpiece up and down. Now, the most important thing about any whistle is how it sounds. So I'm gonna play these side by side for you now. And I'll also put up some details about each whistle on screen while I do that. The tune is done more lassies and you'll find a link to the tutorial for that in the description down below and up here on the little eye. <laughs> So as you can hear, these two low whistles do have a very different sound from each other. The aluminium low whistle is richer, warmer, it's more traditional sounding than the plastic whistle. It's a little bit more resonant, a little bit more full bodied and rounded, probably a little nicer on the ear. The plastic whistle, however, does have a wonderful clarity for a plastic whistle. A lot of plastic and polymer PVC low whistles that I play tend to be really soft and breathy and you don't actually get that with this whistle. It's a lot clearer and crisper sound, which 
is really interesting and I actually really like that about this whistle. Now the reason I play Dunmore Lassies often when I'm reviewing whistles is um, that it's got a good range of notes within it so you get low notes and you get high notes. There's a couple of uh, interesting sometimes difficult octave shifts and it really tests the performance of the whistle and both these whistles performed really really well. There aren't that many places you can get breaths in with this tune either but I didn't find myself running out of air with either of these whistles so that means that they might be useful for people who struggle putting a lot of air through a whistle. You don't need a lot of extra breath or pressure to get to that second octave on these. And they don't hog your breath. They don't require too much air to play long notes on these, which I really like. It means the mouthpiece has got a great design. There's a great amount of back pressure and you can play a bit more easily and you have a little more breath to play with for the dynamics of your playing as well. Now as I mentioned the finger holes are really close together on these low D whistles which is fantastic. The finger holes themselves are quite small as well. As usual the fifth hole is the largest on these whistles but it's not that difficult. It's not that large a hole to cover. I've definitely played with larger holes um, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. These whistles are really responsive so they're great for playing a selection of ornaments and they octave transition really smoothly, which I really, really like. Now, let's see how they stand up to the tuning test. So as you can see, both of these whistles are pretty much hitting the mark on every single note. The aluminium low whistle is a bit more in tune. You need to put less breath on each note to hit those notes perfectly in tune. And of course, you do have the option to tune it. So if you want to play with more breath, you could actually flatten or extend the length of this whistle a little. And um, that will sort of compensate for the more breath you put in. The plastic whistle, on the other hand, doesn't quite hit every single note perfectly in tune, but it's pretty good. Of course, not being tunable though, you can't adjust this. Now, as for the volume and the strength of the bell notes, both of these whistles have lovely strength bell notes, and that means the bottom note, the low D that these whistles play, they can both reach the second or third high D, third octave high D on uh, the scale, which I think is great. And they do that really easily. So potentially if you have the skills or the will, you might be able to play uh, further into the third octave on these whistles as well. I like my neighbors, so I'm not going to attempt that. <laughs> the cross fingering notes, the C natural, uh, is actually a lot stronger on the plastic whistle than it is on the aluminium. And the same actually applies for the half holes. They're a lot stronger on the plastic than they are on the metal. So that is it from me on these amazing Tony Dixon whistles. These were sent to me by bigwhistle.co.uk. Big Whistle is a UK based website that holds stock of all sorts of amazing whistles from makers from all over the world. It is a really great place to buy whistles online. Um, I've linked that up here on the little eye and in the description down below. So please do go and check that out. Don't forget if you love this video and you'd like to show your support, you can do so right here on YouTube using the super thanks button. You can like, subscribe and hit the bell icon, which helps me out so much and really allows my channel to keep growing. Um, and also you can subscribe on Coffee or Patreon. These are monthly subscription places, although Coffee is also optionally one off. And uh, there you'll get a whole host of extras such as MP3 covers of all my tunes, uh, backing tracks when I make them, 
voting rights on what comes up next on my channel, priority tune requests, exclusive videos, PDF printable tabs, there is loads to enjoy if you support me on a monthly basis. Don't forget to check out that other review on the Dixon two-piece plastic whistle right here on screen, the Dunmore Lassies tutorial here as well, and some other links that you might find useful right here on screen as well. Thank you so much for watching, happy whistling, and I'll see you again later in the week for some more tin whistle awesomeness. Bye!